this is another level. Pittsburgh's oh, just yeah. so good. They, they are. Just, I mean, I, they make those long passes. They just have so many weapons. You, you just can't sleep on them. But it's just one game. But I'm dumb enough to pick them. It's I, one game, but now now the Caps have forced themselves to salvage a split home and then go and lose two at Pittsburgh. It's a game by game thing. But you've put yourself no, in a hole Sunday, again. Sunday is a must win. It just is. Call it what it is. It's a must win. By the way, I was changing the channels, watching the Caps, checking in on the draft. And I continued to do that afterwards. And the Golden Knights started playing right after the Capitals. Right. And not that I even wanted to watch that game, but I guess I was just in the habit of going back to the NHL Network or NBC Sports. And in the blink of an eye, it was 4 nothing right. Golden Knights. I couldn't well, believe it. it. That's exactly why life is not fair. The, the Vegas Golden Knights fans have never <laughs> tasted a playoff loss at this point. Hmm. They're the co-favorites to win the Stanley Cup at this point in Vegas. They blow out. A pretty good Sharks team, 7 well, nothing. <laughs> meanwhile, the Caps have been around since 1974, been to one cup final, got swept in it. Well, here's the thing. All, all- so just running away with it. That's all, the they, all they do. They just threw the team together. Right. So, <laughs> threw them together last and, year. And it's all done by GM, GM. GM, GM. <laughs> so, Caps general manager, I, George. Yeah. I put it on for... A minute or two. Yeah. And the announcer said, for nothing. And I think it was on seven shots. Okay. (laughs) And then I clicked on it a little bit later, and they said that San Jose had dominated. Mm. But I think, is it Mark andre Fleury, who used to be with the Pens? Yep. Had 18 saves in the first period for the Golden Knights. And I did happen to Right. That's the first time I'd seen it. I thought it was a scene from medieval times. <laughs> right. Well, they are the knights. Yeah, I mean, I that is it. their thing. They do a bit with a castle. I haven't, and, see, I haven't seen it. Look, it's like a castle and like blue man group. And right. <laughs> pounding the drums. Well, it's, it's Vegas theatrics. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you, you know, expect. It's an you know, unbelievable story. You know how we talked about that Malkin and Hagelin were out? Um, one of the NHL writers uh, tweeted, you know, Maybe we should just be careful who we wish for and just hope that they're at full strength. In 2016, when the Pens Caps played in Game 4, Latang was out for suspension. The Penguins won 3-2 in overtime. Okay. In 2017, uh, in Pens Caps Game 4, Crosby out with a concussion. Uh, Latang was out, of course, the entire playoff series. The Pens won 3-2. And, of course, in 2018, Malkin and Hagelin out with injuries. Right. The Pens win 3-2. Yeah, the coach, when he was interviewed on ice, he said, we got other guys. He's right. <laughs> He's like, yeah, He's right. it's unfortunate, but we have other guys. <laughs> yeah. Next man up. And the Capitals are without Burakovsky. It's true. Now, he and- may not be as good as he My daughter turned to me and said, why is it so hard for the Capitals to score? And I said, I wish I had the answer. <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell you. I mean, part of it is Matt Murray. I mean, Matt Murray, you look at his postseason numbers. It was. Seventh postseason win, mm. and it's not like he's been around for very long. He's already got two Stanley Cup titles. Yeah, he's got twenty-seven postseason wins. It's a pretty formidable. But goal. listen, listen to these good. stats, and I'm stealing these from Japer's Rink. Right, we love that blog. Uh, in five-on-five five play last night mm-hmm. against the Penguins, sixty-four forty-six in shot attempts. The Caps are leading that stat. Right, twenty-seven twenty-three in shots, thirty to twenty-six in scoring chances, nine to eight in high-quality chances. I mean. Half of statistically, last year. they but have. that happened you know, last year. You know what I am? I'm just saying. With, with those you numbers, don't want to be on the wrong side I'm, of that. I'm John Gruden it doesn't guarantee when it comes anything. to those numbers. Yeah. I, I care about end results. And the end result is always Pens Pittsburgh winning the series winning. and their stupid fans going over to the steps of the museum across from Capital One Arena and, and taunting Caps fans on their way out of the building. I'm yep. sorry. That's just reality. Guarantee just watching the first period. Oh, I know they did it yeah. last night. Watching the first period. Immediately noticed that the tenor of the game was different. And I remember watching the intermission, and Jeremy Roenick said this. So he did, yeah, it's one nothing caps. Could easily be 3-1 right. pens. Right, you couldn't feel comfortable. I mean, you're you're happy that you're leading. It seemed like the pens you, were you ever so many chances they just missed. Were, as a Caps fan, was anybody ever comfortable during last night's game? Couldn't Especially be. with a 2 nothing lead early in the third? I mean, you're happy with a 2 nothing yeah. lead, but you're not... Not comfortable you because don't think you know it's that over. you've, no, you've you had don't. opportunities you've squandered throughout the game, where you mm. should be up maybe four nothing at that point or four one. I thought it would You're be not. close. I did not expect them to give up three goals in four no. minutes and forty two seconds. It was 
See, that's so, the devastating of part. That's the devastating part is to give up that many goals in that quick, quickly. Of, I thought of they were fortunate span. in the second period. I thought they were fortunate they were up one nothing. Yes. to start. The but third. you got to score but one two to beat the Pats. I so sure. scored to put them up true. two nothing, even though it's that you know dreaded two goal lead that the Caps have struggled with. I felt pretty good. I have to say. Props to our caller we yesterday, who I also did. mentioned this. I think a week ago, he said. The Caps have an opportunity at the beginning and end of periods. Both their goals were in the first 30 right. seconds of a period, basically. And by the way, I, I gave myself false confidence about the Philly's bad goaltending and defense during the first round. It doesn't matter. The, the Pens are super explosive. Hello, Bulletin. They are. Yeah. <laughs> we saw it last night like when I they said, erupted they in the if third. If you're going to beat them, you have to be like Jeremy Renner and Hurt Locker. You have to be perfect. 